Hello everybody, welcome back to another unboxing of Loot Crate. This one is a little bit late. This is November's unboxing happening in December, but that's okay. I was busy moving and just too much going on to be able to do this unboxing previous or, or during November. Uh, the theme for this one is combat. I have not opened it and even though I've had it sitting at my desk for weeks, I just, I have no idea what's inside. I did not sneak peek, I promise. I have no clue. I've heard of one item, but I don't know about the rest. And once again, thanks to Corporal Cookie, who is doing this recording and does all the editing for these. Um, I really appreciate his help in making these awesome videos. So let's see what we got this time. Ooh, Blizzard, yay! Okay, let's see what we got. What in the world? Huh, it's a Ninja Turtle sunglasses with a mask on it. Okay, I have to, I have to, there we go. <laughs> nice, that is hilarious. I don't even know what I'd do with that. Okay, oh, this is what I was looking forward to. It's a Vault Boy bobblehead from Fallout 4. I was really, this was the one thing I heard about that I was really excited about. I'm gonna throw it across the room, I'm so excited. Um, each bobblehead is good for 10 skill points or one statistic point. Increase may not exceed level 120, interesting. Opening this package, you agree to exempt Vault Tech from all responsibility. <laughs> nice. So we've got a bubble head in here, which is tape shut, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up so we can take a look. This was the one thing in the box that I did hear about that I was really looking forward to getting, and that is this bubble head. So here he's got some, <laughs> some protective face cover here. It's like a flap. Uh, but there he is. Here's our... Our bobblehead ball toy. I'm gonna pull it out so you can be all bobbleheady. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. Oh, this is one of those things I want to mount in my car, you know, because you know the, the little Hawaiian hula neck. Totally need him in there. And <clears throat> this is hilarious that I got this. I'd just like to say, um, I wish I could have recorded this and made a video of it for you guys. I did a preview of this, of the Mocking Jay movie uh, i got to go to a local theater and we went into a charter bus to a arrow tag game in a big warehouse so we had padded arrows we were shooting at each other there was a cornucopia in the center with weapons everybody started out in a circle around it one of the items they gave us for this special event was a mocking j pen and there is another one in here so i'll have to give this to someone Let's see, we got a Blizzard Cute and Deadly, or Cute But Deadly Series 1 figurine. I'm wondering what it is. I am used to be a World of Warcraft player, but I am not anymore. I've kind of let it expire. Um, I just didn't like this last expansion as much. Plus, I'm kind of burned out on MMOs. I, I don't play them as much as I used to. I still have an ESO membership, but and again, I don't play it much. Which seems silly to pay for it, huh? All right, let's see what we got here. I don't know. Let's open her up. So some of the options or possibilities is Kerrigan, Arthas, Sylvanas, Zeratul, I probably said that wrong, Murloc, Diablo, Murloc, Murloc, and Arthas. So there's some mystery ones. Is there a tear line? There it is. All right, let's see what we got. We have, oh, it looks like Kerrigan, sweet. Kerrigan and a stand and a tiny little body with an enormous head and it looks broken. So yes, I got a broken figurine. The wing is off of it, but the wing pops back in. However, the head is actually physically broken off in the bag. So that's a bummer. That's kind of a bummer. I'll have to, I'll probably super glue it on. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just super glue it. And then the stand, Hopefully it's not, no, it's not broken. So bummer that her head popped off. You can actually see the little post in there where it broke in half, but that's okay. I'll, I'll glue it back together and stick it on a bookshelf anyways. The gift of geek from Loot Crate. Oh, nice. Little Loot Crate gift tags. I like this because I have so many Loot Crates. I'm probably gonna start gifting some of this stuff away. So it's very cool that they have these, but I think this is so that you can actually gift people loot crepes. Loot crepes, crepes, crates. Use these tags to celebrate the spirit of holidays and share the love with your geeky friends and family. Regift your loot. Nice, so I actually will use these. I'm excited about that. 
Oh, sweet. This makes me very happy. These are, looks like, wool, uh, blizzard magnets. So we've got, let's see, we've got a Kerrigan, we've got a Arthas. Oh, I really like these. These are, I'm gonna stick these all over my fridge at home once I get home. We've got our usual monthly pin, so theme is combat. And then we have the Loot Crate magazine, as usual, which has some pictures of people wearing the silly sunglasses. <laughs> and then finally, we have a Loot Crate Special Edition Street Fighter Hyper Looting. So this is a Loot Crate exclusive number one Capcom magazine. And that is it. And then here's the inside. Looks kind of like a post-apocalyptic mess. So that is our November Loot Crate. I'm going to let you guys know I don't know if I'm going to do a December one yet. I'm kind of thinking about canceling my membership. Not because I don't love these, because I really do, and I love the stuff that comes in them. It's mostly because I'm just running out of space to put all this stuff, and I'm going to start gifting it away. So I may keep doing these. I may not. I may keep the box and stop doing recordings. I haven't really decided, but... Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you really enjoy these. And uh, I, again, I, I still might <laughs> I still might stop doing these. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Become a Finian today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.